okay this is where I'm up to I threw the blocks up to here ready I already got this filled up uh, the corner here is also filled up this corner here is also filled up and I put a small little drain right here uh, just in case uh, of water buildup I'm gonna put a metal grate there uh, and yeah it's coming out I took and I had to make a scaffold like this let me just go up this ladder here This is here what we call a falso. This is a fake floor. Now it comes out very, very strong. Uh, I can have blocks up here. And uh, I'll have uh, now a nice place here uh, to work. Now it's like I'm starting like from scratch. So now like when the wall, I don't think the wall is going to make it this high. Uh, I know I have to throw about four five more lines then the metal uh that goes around so hopefully by next week this is done so lewis out okay i'm back this is almost done i already did the steel reinforcement for the header after i do after i mold that out I have to then do the second steel reinforcement so the front really comes out really strong a lot of people don't do this here in Puerto Rico I like doing it this way uh, I, I like doing the header first then I'll do a second steel reinforcement on top of that that grabs all the blocks uh, those are done they're right here so uh yeah this is coming out pretty good uh this has a lot of metal uh since this is just the closet and stuff like that i didn't do the uh the columns in the corners just because the blocks tie up real good and the blocks from bottom up is all steel reinforced uh let me go up here Ugh. But yeah, this is the platform that I work on top of. Uh, I might start framing this out today, but these blocks got installed today. As you can see, everything gets tied up. All the joints get filled up with uh, cement and then uh, a lot of steel reinforcement just to make the walls even stronger. Uh, that's done for hurricanes. Right now we dodged the bullet with Sam, but there's still two tropical depressions right behind Sam that I'm taking a good look at right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. And that's the way we build like this. Uh, it's because of the hurricanes and hurricanes here are really bad. So Lewis out. Okay, I just finished stuck on the back wall of the uh, composting bin look how this good this looks looks too good for a composting bin but this is how the walls look and then that's how it's finished you know that's how it's gonna look at the end like I said that's why you see these things here I don't worry about stuff like that okay so Lewis out I'm back I finally through the top believe it or not I actually framed it I did uh, I installed the box I finished up tying up the rebar and I filled it up the same friggin day that's two days worth of work done in one day all by myself uh, so today today's Sunday I'm actually doing the electricity. I already filled it up. 
this is completely done uh, I was gonna put some outside lights here but as you can see it's kind of thin and I turned on that light that's on the shed at night and the light made it all the way down here but you see this area here that's all messy and all messed up this is a plan that I have for next year I'm gonna actually throw a block fence right here just to finish off this section of my property line it's all family property but you know this section uh, all the way back uh, belongs to me so I'm going to fence this section right here and I'm going to throw this uh, area here in concrete and what I'm planning on doing is uh, installing probably uh, the last rain harvesting on this side of the house uh, and I'll see how if, if I can find a tank that's uh, maybe uh, two three thousand gallons it has to go through here so uh, I would have to measure but this would be a great spot for uh, tank just because I'm gonna do a black wall here that window right there I'm just gonna get rid of that because I'm gonna just leave that portion uh, just as a wall and it will be protected from hurricanes because there's gonna be a wall here there's a wall there uh, and this there's a, a small wall here so that's what I'm planning on doing Lewis right now I'm working on the electrical on top of the garden shed okay there we go I'm actually building the roof right now the electrical is done look how nice these bends came out uh, if you notice there's uh, three pieces like this put together uh, I ran I actually ran out but luckily I saved like the smaller pieces and I was able to finish this the snakes gonna run fine I have this uh, other material but uh, I like sticking this underneath the concrete this is actually way better uh, so I rather do this than use uh, that the one that's flexible in here uh, because it could wind up breaking when you're actually doing uh, pouring concrete on top of here so I rather do this and have a way better job but again check this out the grinder again up here and this is gonna be cutting all the rebar uh, so let me continue okay I'm back the roof of the garden closet is almost done uh, I did all the electrical tomorrow I'm gonna install the rebar it's all gonna be half inch half inch uh, rebar because I want it to come out real strong and that's pretty much it so Lewis out till tomorrow okay I'm back look how this looks now I have to put a piece of wood right here in the middle I might put maybe some wood here just to reinforce it I believe it's pretty good like that uh, but I have to put a piece of wood right here and maybe two construction jacks uh, uh, this is uh, pretty strong so yeah that's what I'm gonna do two construction jacks should do it let me go to the roof okay right now I'm floating on top of the rebar this rebar does not touch the uh, wood look how strong this comes out this is uh, one of my styles of working is when I put the uh, the steel reinforced dummy in there uh, when I fill it up I actually put uh, a piece of rebar just sticking up a lot of people just leave the rings uh, sticking out and then they'll pour and then the rings hold the ceiling but I don't like that this comes a lot stronger uh, but check it out look how good this is coming out I'm very happy with this very strong 
uh, rebar work. All this is half inch. You know, the pieces that stick out, they're three eighths. But the whole job of the rebar, like, you know, what gets done for the roof, all that's half inch. But look how nice and strong these corners are. Just, everything just ties up like really heavy duty. Uh, now I gotta see if uh, I get in contact with my friend Sammy because I could mix all this concrete by myself. That's not the problem. The problem is moving it up here, okay? So, Lewis out. No one gonna hear about this. There is nothing wrong with <laughs>